Hello Geminis, so this is your bonus monthly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. I'm going to be using the spread that I usually do for the weekly, but it's going to be for the month of May. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so universe, what's the current energy between Gemini's and the person that's on Gemini mind for May 2022? Five of Wands, the world, Nine of Wands. Okay, so I see you guys are protecting your energy, okay? You're closing out chapters. You're ready for new ones, okay? You see what else I'm getting? Universe, the person that's on Gemini mind, who would like to say to Gemini? Page of Cups, universe. So this is someone who's... Um, they like they don't like to admit that they're the wrong one. So right now, what they would like to say is basically either nothing or not to admit that they're sorry. Okay, universe. The person that's on Gemini mind. Why are they keeping hidden from Gemini? Okay, you got the fool. Then you got the strength card. Okay, so what they keep it hidden? They feel like they did play themselves. They feel like they were like doing something dumb. Okay, they was. They feel like they was the one that was doing something that was going to jeopardize the relationship. Um, but at the same time, it's like they're trying to not show you that, okay? Universe, the person that's on Gemini Mind, how do they feel about Gemini for May 2022? Universe, the person that's on Gemini Mind, how do they feel about Gemini for May 2022? Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands, okay? Hmm. So even though they're, this person is not being apologetic, this person still want to talk to you. So I'm going to see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Gemini mind, what is their true feelings for Gemini for May 2022? Yeah. So this is someone who just have a lot of pride and ego, okay? Because I feel like with them, they do miss you. Um, I feel like with the true feelings of Nine of Cups, they feel like you were the best thing that ever happened to them. But <laughs> it's like they're not doing the necessary actions to make this right. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Gemini mind, what is their intentions with Gemini for May 2022? Two of Cups in the verse. See, they're not doing what's necessary. Universe, the person that's on Gemini mind, what actions would he take with Gemini? The death card, the emperor. Yeah, again, pride and ego. This is Aries energy here. This is Scorpio. This is air element. Yeah, so their pride is too much and their ego is too much um, because it's like they're willing to let this relationship end even though they know that you were the best for them. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm seeing. So they're too stubborn, okay? You might be dealing with a fixed sign, okay? A Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, okay? There is some Aries as well here, some Sagittarius. Um... Yeah, so I see that they know that they was wrong, but they don't want to admit to it. They would like to talk to you, but they're not really going to do what's necessary to, like, fix things. So I feel like this is someone who's accepting the fact that you guys are probably not going to be together again. Um, it's, I say again, not to be together. So <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Let's see. Okay, let's, let's look at the other deck. Alright, universe, give me a four card spread. I want to see you have four Gemini. So there is, don't focus on monetary issues, focus on spirit, then there's new direction. Money opportunity. This is the phrase stock card. The water and the moon. Gem energy is the shadows you too. Okay. So yeah, I feel like what is going on, this is more focused on you. Um you are just going to not get caught up with them. You're not gonna get distracted with them, you're not gonna dwell in the situation. Um 
You also might use what you do as a way of kind of like a therapeutic, like being being in the zone, okay? Um, and then I got the water and the moon. Some of you guys have been feeling this person's energy too. You know that this person don't actually, like how they're moving, you know that this is not really that's them. It's just that's how their ego want them to move basically. Let's see, universe clarify water. Universe clarify water. Universe clarify water. The lovers, yeah. But you know that this person do have a lot of emotions, feelings for you. Universe clarify moon. High priestess, yeah, you know it. <laughs> so it's like you know that it's gonna be their loss, basically. So let's see. Universe, give me a three cards, but what, what messages do you have for Gemini? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Gemini? So there's doubt, love, and health. Gemini energy is loneliness, okay? Yeah, so some of you guys doubt that this person will change, and I can see why, because <laughs> like they're not, okay? But you know that this person do have feelings for you, okay? It could have worked, but again it's ego so you guys are doubting that okay and you may feel like this person is like feeling alone at this moment as well so let's look at what they would like to say mm -hmm. the universe is going to three parts by the person that's on Gemini mind would like to say to Gemini for me, excuse me too. Imagination, see, they like to gaslight. They don't like to admit discipline, regret, and health. I feel like later they will regret it, okay? Because again, this person know your value, but right now they're still wanting to omit the truth or do reverse psychology or gaslight, just do a lot of things to deflect from them, okay? Okay, let's look here. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Gemini? So there's emotional loss, there's a death card, transformation card, mental conflict, and the truth. Jenna energy is the emperor. The emperor came out again. Okay, so with these two cards here, this is, they're going to be, I feel like they're already missing you, but they're really going to miss you, like, because they're going to feel like, damn, like, I did have the chance to make things right, and I didn't. Okay, that's them realizing that. And this is them. This is their energy because with the emperor being there, that means they had a potential. They had a potential, but they're not acting upon their potential. Okay, it's like you. Universe, we have four cards. What messages do you have for Gemini for May 2022? So there's Monk Nun, Priest, the Story Tower. Then there's Exorcist, Killer, and Mother. Yeah, so you may feel like this is someone who brings a lot of chaos in your life and you are eclipsing that away from you. You're focusing on healing. Okay, another general message is that you are fixing your relationship with your mother. Okay, you taking time for you. Some of you guys are in kind of like in a hermit mode. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. No, universe, give me three more cards. What messages do you have for Gemini? 
Peace resolution, universe, give me two more cards. Compromise, universe, give me one more card. Trust, Jedi energy is not the right time. Okay, yeah, so you guys are really, you guys don't even believe that this person is going to change. Okay, um, you feel like right now is not the right time. Probably in the future, yes, they're going to learn. So it's like, you know, like at this moment, they're not going to change, but later they will learn. Okay. Um, but you're willing to let this go. Okay. Cause it's like right now you really want to focus on you. Um, you don't want to get caught up. It's about to be your birthday season. So <laughs> you don't want to dwell in to, you don't want to dwell in negativity basically. So let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, give me a two card spread. I'm not to just see you have for Gemini. So fearless self love and inner guidance system. Okay, that's you trusting your intuition. That two cards I want to show itself. Uniquely myself and so true. Probably this is someone who is trying to change you. Okay, so uniquely myself. I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. So truth. I listen to the, uh, to my soul simple truth and allow my life to unfold naturally. Then there is fearless self-love. Whenever I choose to love myself, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I'm practicing fearlessness. And there is inner guidance system. The best answers always come from the calm, radiant place within me, and I wait for these with joy. Okay, you listen to your intuition, you trust your intuition, okay? So that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortotarot at gmail.com.